Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting on YouTube and the ICR3 Facebook page and I wanted to just take a moment today to show you this view. This is looking from a hilltop, as you can probably gather, down onto Land Sillin, a little tiny village in the centre of the screen there. But we're interested in just the view behind it and you can see how the hills just disappear right away to the horizon in the distance. And this is something that I've always said that's so good about growing up and living in this area. If we just zoom in a little bit here, you can see it a bit more clearly. That on one side of Osastri, my hometown, you've got all of the plains and the flats of Shropshire. And then literally almost on the very edge of town on the other side, you've got all of the low hills of Wales starting to build up and... Obviously, they get into some pretty uh, high mountains eventually if you were to walk a long, long distance. So, I thought we'd follow it up with the uh, excellent little downhill stretch of road here. So, we're setting out from that view and we're not going to go more than about 35 miles an hour here. As, uh, well, you'll gather that these are twisting country lanes and there was no way I was going to risk it. Having, in the past, previously come off my bike a number of times in these sort of environments. But as you can see, again, just illustrating with this little stretch here, what I say again about how it is just fantastic to have spent so much time outside walking, biking and boating in this part of the world, that this is what so many of the roads are like, just little country lanes. I mean, I'd say this is a pretty big, substantial road compared to a lot of the ones that I travel on, believe it or not. And you've just got this countryside as far and as well as long as you want to follow these roads i suppose so you can disappear sometimes i mean this is part of a route that i've done in the past that many people will know about where i do a sort of 28 mile uh, walking route and i've done my really big 32 mile walking routes that stretch out this direction in the past too and it's just well the vast majority it's 90 percent roads like this in environments like this with very little sign of humanity to really ever draw you away from your thoughts or draw you away from just enjoying where you are and being there for that particular moment oh this is all getting very very idealistic and romantic in this video but as i say this is in a nutshell this is why i've loved for the last decade or so just putting my boots on, getting on my bike whenever and just seeing where I end up, tootling out for a little walk or heading out on the bike. I mean, the other day I was doing a video and I mentioned that I don't really go on the bike much and since then I've put in probably, I don't know, a good few sort of, I'd say probably three 10 to 20 mile bike rides since that point and when it's through this sort of environment you can see how I can rack up the miles every now and then. So I um, the other day went out for what I was intending to be just about a six mile bike ride as a round trip, which I then kept getting distracted because it was a nice day and thought, oh, I'll just go a bit further, just go a bit further. Ended up coming to town back the exact opposite direction from which I left town, having done a 17 mile circuit. So yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll wrap things up as we find a little bit of uphill here to bring us to a steady stop. Say, so, check out my other videos for loads more stuff like this and loads more from the local area. Check out my short books about life on the canals in this area too. And well, until the next time, have a fantastic day, keep it interesting, and of course, my friends, farewell.